Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out Car HUD, which is a paid resource. Um, link to all this will be down in the description if you are interested, but thank you to the author for letting me um, have access so I can go over how to install this. Um, it is a pretty cool resource. You got all of the different Car HUD options. You have uh, inbuilt support for all of the different frameworks you can have, um, QB Core, VRP, ESX, you know, all those good ones. It's also standalone. I'll be using the standalone version today. Um, you also have all of your settings menu, so you can configure it um, just to your liking with all the different colors, and you can have different alerts depending on your personal preferences, which I think is an amazing feature. Um, it also is optimized as well. It includes seat belts and all of that good stuff. So why don't we go over the documentation, and then we're going to actually install the resource. So the documentation is here on um, Gitbook is the software that you use, so you can go to this link down in the description and look over the documents. It tells you how to install it as well. It shows you that um, you have to configure a few things in the FX manifest if you want to enable the different core supports. You have your fuel script, so if you want to um, set up a custom fuel script, they do have an option for that. What they do have FR fuel, legacy fuel supported by default, so you just have to enter what you are using into the um, customizable files. So I'll show you that in a little bit. You have the default key bindings as well. Y is opening the settings menu. B toggles the seatbelt equals toggles cruise control. You also have the chat commands as well for those. If you need them, you can toggle the UI settings and everything like that. Um, and they go over all of the other info in here. But why don't we go ahead and um, get started? So all you have to do is go to your key master once it's purchased, and you're going to find the CD underscore car HUD. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and download here. Remember, using key master's uh, new system for assets, you need to be on a modern server artifact version. So just make sure you're on one of the latest recommended server artifacts. Um, if you need to update that, I will leave a link to the video on how to update your server artifacts down in the description. All right, so now that you have your file downloaded, you're not going to change the name of this folder. You're going to keep it exactly the same, but you're going to drag it to wherever your resources are stored. For me, it's my server data resources. For you, it could be your FTP file access, or if you're on Zap hosting, um, you would do it through FTP, or if you're on TX admin, it would be through your TX data folder, depending on what you use. And then in here, you can see there is a few things. There's a README after purchasing, so you should probably read that over. Um, they do have all the documentation in there as well. And then you have the configs. You have the config.lula, you have the customize me, and the local. So why don't we go through the customize me? This is where if you have ESX or anything, you can set this up. For now, I'm not using either of them. So you can see you can have your own framework, you can have QB core, or you can have ESX, just like that. And do you have fuel? Do you have none? Do you have legacy fuel? Do you have FR fuel? All of that good stuff can be configured in here. And then the keys and commands can be configured down there and the notifications as well. So if you're using um, and want to change any of the notifications, you can go ahead and do it that as well, which is really cool. Um, so in your config.lula now, you can see that you have config framework. So this is going to be whatever it is. I'm going to set it to none. So you have ESX, QB core, VRP, none. I'm going to set it to none. Uh, English is going to be my language. And then you can have the framework triggers. So if you need to change that, you can. And config notification type, I'm just going to switch to chat because I'm not using ESX. And then I have no fuel script, so I'm going to keep this to none. Should you disable um, exiting the vehicle with the seatbelt enabled, you can set that up if you want. Should you hide the minimap, all that good stuff. And then all the commands you can configure here as well. So whatever you want for your server, configure to your liking. In the locals.lula, this is literally just all of the languages, so feel free to modify this to your liking. They obviously have a lot of pre-made languages that you can just switch to automatically, but if you want to customize it, you can as well. All right, now that we have configured it to our liking, what we're going to do is I'm just going to copy the name cd underscore car HUD, and I'm going to go to my server.cfg file. If you're on Zap hosting, make sure to do this through your file interface, and then I'm going to do cd underscore car HUD just like that. Save it, and now if I start my 5M server, as long as it says started resource car HUD, there we go, right there, we know we're good to go. Let's hop in game and try it out. All right, so we are in-game here, and you can see at the bottom of my screen that we have the default HUD showing up. So you got the miles per hour, the RPM, you got your seatbelt that I currently don't have on, and all of that good stuff. So to customize, obviously, all you have to do, press Y, and this opens up your customization settings menu. It is smaller for me, considering that I am running on a ultra-wide 4K monitor, so obviously it's probably going to be a little bigger for you. But you can change your miles per hour to kilometers, you have your dashboard, your engine alerts, what you should have in and all of that good stuff. Should you have your street compass? Should you not? So if I turn off all of these and press save, you can see obviously it removes 
my street compass from down below, which I think looks a little bit better personally. Um, so yeah, that's how this works. Um, unfortunately, my recording software hates when I open GUIs in game, so it decided to um, start lagging, which is unfortunate, but that is sometimes how it works. Um, if we press B, obviously we toggle our seatbelt. It has that nice little sound, and obviously our seatbelt light is now gone off. So we now are safe to drive. And if you press the equals key, you have cruise control. So obviously now the car is going to just continue to maintain that same speed um, all along the time. So obviously I'm just steering and then enter would disable it. All right. So before this game lags any further, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully this is a cool resource you can use on your server if you're interested in a paid car HUD. So thanks so much to the author again for letting me borrow it um, for this video. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Goodbye.